in the habit. All right, center your pedals. So if you didn't have that split, what would you have to do to that? You wouldn't fly. The uh, the secondary, the spray clutch in the secondary would be malfunctioning, and that's a hard downing. Do not fly the aircraft. Okay, so temperatures, pressures in the green. When you're ready, we're clear on the right. Pull right. yourself to the left. I'm with you. Nice and easy. Find your sweet spot, two stage. Just hover here for a little bit, get used to it. You're getting pretty good at being an instructor on this thing now, aren't you? Yeah. Alright, go ahead and point the nose to the south. Put the, the line right through the center of the aircraft and just do a little bit of a hover taxi oh, down. Cessna 79966, runway 18, you clear to land, long landing approach. Clear to land, 18, long landing, Cessna 79966. I like where the cyclic is nice and centered, so that little bit of extra ballast on the back helps. Yep. And you're a lighter guy anyway, but... Alright, go ahead and stop. That's good. Go ahead, give me a right 180 degree pedal turn. Okay, same thing. Taxi along. Relax, you're, you're oh. ham fisting. I can just tell you're ham fisting. So just relax. Chill out. Nice and smooth control outputs. You're jerky. There you go. Just it's been a while nice since I, uh... and easy. Yeah, just relax. Just think, relax. That's the big word. And you'll slow down your control inputs. Make them a little bit smoother. Go ahead, stop. Good. Right 180 degree, go back down the line. Nice and slow. Even if you're going to the right, we still do nice and slow control pedal turns. There you go, get your rotor RPM back. Back to 100. Track back down. Okay, stop all forward movement. That's it. Straighten yourself out. Go ahead and do a set down. Nice and easy. There's the right skid. There's the left. Slowly center your controls and reducing your throttle as required. Very good. Okay. Go ahead and uh, pick her back up. Get that. Get her light. Get everything stabilized. Then you lift off. The two-stage pickup. Roll on that throttle. All right, go ahead and put her down again. There's the right, there's the left. Slowly center the controls, rolling the throttle down. Okay, that's important, you know, the, the throttle management too. You know you're gonna have to roll it down a little right. bit. Okay, go ahead and pick her back up. Number three, zero, one, four, six. Okay, three, zero, one, four, six, please, good start. Uh, good morning. Alright, come forward. Well done. Good job. Don't worry about that. Just worry about flying the aircraft. Okay. Yeah, you did good. You kept it level. They came down straight ahead. Very good. Alright, go ahead and pick her back up. Paco 30146, I didn't observe, report a uh, two mile left base runway 18. We'll call a two mile left base 18146. Alright, 180 degrees and taxi back. Third left. Easy, now you got a little bit of tailwind now. Yep. Okay, 
Nice and easy, not too much on the nose up. You're pretty low to the ground. Set her down. No, 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 not so much, not so much. Just below the collective and simultaneously. What's happening is that's called translating tendency. That's the thrust from the tail rotor that's pushing you to the left. Right. So as you lower the collective and center the cyclic, you'll get more drag and more firmness, or you'll have more contact than the ground, it'll stop that. So you had a collective up here and you got right cyclic, that's going to set you up for a dynamic rollover. Because oh, okay. if you pulled up on the collective, you would have went, whoop. I think that's what happened to this guy. He got a little I too think, low. I think I would have just pulled it back up. Yeah, well, yeah, oh, or I just reduced them out. Here, I have all controls. Let me demonstrate. Yeah. I have control. So you notice how we start sliding? Yeah. So you're like this, and then if you overcompensate and add too much right stick, the helicopter will go over, and that's what happens to people. I've seen it. I've seen some videos. So what you do is you, you slowly lower and center the cyclic at the same time like this. That's why I'm, I'm saying always just together bring it down. All right, so let's let everything cool down for a little bit. You have the collective. I have. We got oil temperatures coming. Actually, I have I have all controls. I get it back into the wind and help it out. Slider back in, all the line, pretty much into the wind. Right and left, and then see how I'm slowly centering, rolling the throttle down, just like that. So that's the kind of technique I'm looking for guys to do. I just hang out, because it's going to cool this down a little bit. Water temp's good. I mean, I think that thermostat opens up around 180 anyway, so... This is on the higher side, but that's normal when you're hovering without any airflow, really. Okay, so I'll let you do the takeoff here, but we're going to do everything nice, smooth, and controlled, right? So 35 inches might not work today because we've got a higher density altitude, so we might need like 37, 38. You got all the way up to 40 if you need to pull. So if you're having to pull and you're starting to sink down, just make sure you're adding the throttle and the collective at the same time if you're starting to pull more to 40. And then once you get above ETL, that kind of boost of air, the clean air, then you can start coming back to 35. Because remember, we're always like talking about 35, 65, 70 miles an hour at the numbers, cruising at 30, 31. Remember the manifold pressure and all that stuff. On the takeoff, when we're hotter days like this with higher density altitude, we need to pull a little bit more power. Because we're like, if I looked it up right now, I bet we're like 2,500 feet density altitude because it's just so hot and humid. So the aircraft is acting like it's at a higher altitude because of that. Nice, Red Baron. Baco, one four six, right turn on your stretch. One four six, thank you. All right, I got her good. All right, so when you're ready, make the call. Just tell her you have information, Mike. East T hangar ramp for uh, two red paint pres jobs. This is the old position old departure. Walk, With the right turn out to the south. I'm sorry, right turn out to the west. And I'll back you up if you mess it up. That's our uh, helicopter 8006 Alpha. 8006 Alpha, safe good sir. Hello, Kip. Hey, uh, just wanted to uh, do a present position departure. We have information, Mike, and we're going to be uh, proceeding westbound. We're at the TA. Just hold your position because we've got somebody coming out of the teeth to make sure Charlie's not blocked. Alright, hold our position, 8006 Alpha. That's good, everything's nice and cool now. So you can see here at 100%, we're, we're really getting everything nice and cool. That helicopter 8006 Alpha, from present position, we departure via drone rest, proceed directly westbound and cross runway 18. 
All right, present position departure is approved, and uh, we'll proceed westbound right after departure and cross runway 18. 8006 Alpha. Okay, you ready? Is this throttle in? Get that throttle in, get that 100% first. Uh, there you go. Alright, sir, closing it over. Nope. Oh. He's got RPM back. back slightly. I'm rolling the throttle back with you. There it is. Now we're more like normal, 36, 37. See, what happens, you're pulling so much because you got the rotor back to 96, yep. and you got so much drag on the engine to try to get it back, and you're trying to take off like that. That's why it's so important to have 100% on the takeoff right. run, otherwise you're just behind the power curve. And I was a little bit behind. Yep. You were back, and it, that's why it was like we're fighting it, fighting it, fighting it. That speed doesn't just come on instantly. It has a little bit of a, you know, it's a little bit of a lag to it to start building up speed. Say 500? Yeah, 500 is good. Yeah, yeah stay down there. Do uh, low level over the St. John's, heading up to the north, and we'll re-enter. Over the house? Yeah, that's fine. All right, so 500, so you can start reducing to about 31 inches. Rolling the throttle. Not so much. That's a big power change there. Then you're going to be fighting this. That's just a little power changes. There you go. Everything is slow and deliberate. You right. do this, and it's I a lot. I've seen that, yeah. Yeah. How is Joey flying? Pretty good? Yeah, he's got a really good control touch. That's good. Like his daddy, huh? Yeah, no, he's very smooth. I think the kids are good with that just because of the video games. Yeah. Alright, so you can just kind of cut between the tree line and that lake there. And then we'll just go right down through there. Got some guys flying around, uh... Always looking inside for temperatures and pressures, or looking outside for traffic. There's somebody with a banner out there telling to the left. Oh yeah, I see him. Number uh, 4 zero, Charlie Romeo, holding short, 18 30 for takeoff. Number 4 zero, Charlie Romeo, Space Tower, runway 18 at Alpha 1, clear for takeoff, left traffic, report midfield, you're following the Cessna on the midfield, left Allen. Uh, copy 4 zero, Charlie Romeo, clear for takeoff, 18 will report midfield. Report midfield, number 9-0, Papa. Papa. Cessna 90, Papa Papa, one departure, party arrival, runway 18, clear touch again. Okay, you so you can start the descent, so set the manifold pressure to 25 inches. Remember, with a little uh, bit of rolling off on the throttle is required. Uh, left traffic, and we'll, we'll look for the traffic on departure. And, we'll and pop, just pop, pitching pop. for 70 miles an hour is going to be your target speed for the descent. All right. Left pedal as you reduce. Yeah, there you go. Looks good. And just go down to about 100 feet. We'll keep you a little bit higher. And then just follow it up to the north. Alright. Need to bring our pistols out here one day. That's it. Do a little target practice. Evan, 
as you come back into about 30 inches, 31 inches, then a little bit of right pedal, get it back in the trim. There it is. And then just stay on the right side of the river as you come up. Right. This is a good altitude between 100 and 200 indicated. Yeah, this is good for me. Whenever Are you there pop pop. Are you starting yeah. the base yet? Yeah, a little bit higher just, just in case something happens. Base, right, I got a little bit more time bottom. to get on the controls with you. There you go, and you see where the trees are on the right side, just kind of go through there and there's a little bit of a cut, there's like an island of trees and go on the right side of that, so okay. a little bit to the right. That'll keep you over more land mass. Oh, you landed right here? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do it now, it's probably all freaking marshy. Yeah. Yeah, I can just see how muddy that is. It would sink down to the ground. And I got those bear paws that spread it out. If I put those on, it could probably land out there. Spread out. Probably going to need another inch of manifold pressure to keep the speed up. High density altitude, that's why. Our other 30, 31 inches doesn't seem to be working to keep the speed. That's what I was thinking too. And you'll notice one inch will probably get us right back to 70. An additional 30, 32 inches indicated. 32 and a half or whatever you got there. Give me a little bit of right turn. Turn right. Clear right. Coming right. Roll out. I want you to cut right through the middle here, these right. trees, and then just follow the, the tree line. All right. There's an airplane above us. See you. In sight, 700 feet. There you go, just follow this around. Somebody is kicking it up there. See a little rooster tail with some water going and some smoke. I think 32 will hold it. Yep, yep, 32. Give like a 31 and it just... It diminished. just bleeds off, yeah. And it's, you know, 90-something degrees out, high density altitude. That's to be expected. Winter time, 30 inches will probably give us 70 to 80 miles an hour. All the way up until you hit 50, and then you could just come back around the other side. Sounds good. And then we'll maybe do a big turn back around. Just put time on the machine and a little stick time. We can go over the north side. We've been running her for about 15 minutes. I'm going to go to that bridge. I'm going to turn left. I'm going to follow that interstate down until the water intercepts that bridge over there, and then I'm going to head south, okay? Okay. Yeah, I see the rooster tails over there. Is that jet yep. skis? Yep. Uh, I don't know if they're jet skis or if they're just really fast, go fast boats. No power lines, everything looks good. Yeah, uh, just outside that wildlife preservation there. Oh, oh. But, Did uh, you see uh, him? Yeah, I saw him. Yeah, I think those are jet skis. Little horse. Oh, you got a place to launch right here. See that? There you go. I'm going to do some alligator chasing. Uh, yeah, I got the controls. You have control. Uh, control. Speed's a little low, okay? All right, we'll get that back. There you go. Come off the pedals. Bird, bird. Yeah, 
Bader. Nice, I see the head. You're not going to see any up on the side there. It's just so warm. They don't need to come out in the sun. All right. Like in the summertime, or wintertime, rather. Before I midfield, my bill pop pop up. Okay, three zero zero one. We'll uh, continue with the touch and go. We're touch and go one eight nine zero five five. Birds all over the place down here. Back to Brandy, tell her we're coming over, okay? That's fine. Delta, I did. I'm 85 Delta, yeah, I'm not picking, okay, 85 Delta, I see you now. I'll go ahead and uh, proceed due east and report scoring and you turn to final for runway 18. Need you about four miles out. Well, right, well, straight east and we'll be turning about that's four it. miles out runway 18. 85 Delta. Got some hamburgers down there. Up red and T bone. Space Coast Tower, helicopter 8006 Alpha. Space Coast Tower, 40 Charlie Romeo, midfield, left downwind, 18. 40 Charlie Romeo, you're number two behind the Cessna, runway 18, clear touch, go. Uh, 40 Charlie Romeo, number two, following the Cessna, clear touch, go. Helicopter 06 Alpha Tower. Helicopter 0. I didn't know they had tennis courts right here. Yeah, that's part of that YMCA, isn't it? Then you guys used to play, you and uh, Chris Chris used to play there, didn't you? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, that sure is. We gotta go play racquetball, man, if you'd like to. Yeah. That'll really uh, wear you out. Yeah, I haven't played racquetball in years. That's good exercise. Alright, so the house is over there, so I'm just gonna set us up. Come back to the right so I can put the house off the uh, left side for you. That's a pretty good sized pond out here. That is. Nine zero, Papa Papa, if able, uh, disregard. Go ahead and make a right onto runway nine and contact the uh, ground control and without delay, please. Got an aircraft behind you. Right onto runway nine, contact ground control. Nine zero, Papa Papa. Sorry, you need me to go around. Play Romeo, you're cleared to land, sir. The aircraft's exiting runway nine. Okay, thanks. Okay, you see the house? Yep, right there. Papaloo, where is he? 
And a four zero Charlie Romeo. Yeah, off on uh, Alpha Two Star contact ground. Did you hear anything when you landed? Uh, negative. Sir, I would. Yeah, it's contact ground. So you're going to have to go out and look at it. Yeah, it's not out there very much. All righty. Tower five three eight five Delta Midfield left down one for runway one eight touch go. Delta late that one for touch and go one eight. We're at 350 feet, it, so we're pretty low. Bring it back up. Delta Delta Delta. 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 That's a 522 Foxtrot, Space Coast Ground, runway 18 off and 1, clear for takeoff, Delta. Clear for takeoff and 1, 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 Four zero Charlie Romeo, Space Coast Tower. I did not see him. Is that the wind kicking you up? That uh, sure is. Number eight five Delta, runway one eight, clear to touch and go. Clear touch and go, one eight, eight five Delta. Randy didn't respond. No. I think I could see Sean and uh, Devin down there. Yep, I guess they're not there. Go that way, over that pond. Let me see the back roads to it. Yeah. Okay, you got multiple towers, 12 o'clock. If you just go past the pond, turn left right there. Yeah. This is kind of how it happened yesterday. The outflow from these storms as they start raining, they start creating all this freaking wind. I uh, like to the north. That's probably where we're getting this wind kicking up. They got a fence stop right over here. Oh yeah, I used to run around here. Did you? Yeah, go down Knox McRae all the way until it hits Harris. And then uh, up that till uh, Park Avenue and then back towards the house. Nice piece of property, you know? It is, yeah. All of this right here? I think they were supposed to develop this at one time and they just never did. Kind of see where, nice they, community through. Yeah, where they start to clear lots there and they just never built. Like It almost looks like they had uh, ads down ready yeah. to build and they never did. Want to go by the house one more time then we'll head in? Uh, yeah, and I got the house in sight. And that church is pretty big. They got a playground over here and everything, don't they? Yeah, it's a, it's a good-sized church, I can tell you that. Doesn't look that big for No, nah, not from the street, but it is. It's a big complex. They got a school back there, too. I'll just leave the navigation lights on and landing lights on. We we'll land, okay? That's fine. Nope. No joy.
On our way back to the house. <laughs> Where'd they go? I don't know. Uh, I thought both cars were out front, weren't they? I thought so. Right, let's just head back. Yeah. Wanna go over George's house? Uh, let's see, where is he at? Right down the road over here, to the left of the tennis courts. Yeah. Straight ahead. They're finally starting to sell homes right in here. Yeah, starting to... Yeah, some people are starting to move in. Actually, the landscape looks really good. I like the driveways over there. Look at that. Yeah. That'd be nice to see something like that, Joe. Yeah. And your driveway out on the side. You can put your trailer right there, too. Put me over to uh, Adis. Uh, nine miles to the south and slightly east. Uh, we back out runway hold short instructions and runway assignments and a mass control over initial contact. You have information November. November. Space Coast Alphamation November time 1550 Zulu. We are 140 at 8, visibility 7. Scatter closet uh, 1,600. The citizen is broken to 5,000. Temperature 33, dew point 26. And the altimeter is 3001. We're land and depart runway 18. Flip it back. Space Coast Tower helicopter 8006 Alpha. Helicopter 06 Alpha, Space Coast Tower. Just outside the class Delta at 600 feet uh, over US 1 with information November. Full stop landing. November uh, 8006 Alpha, just make sure you approach runway 18. You're going to be number two following a Cessna. Should be starting a left basin. Hook up to 06 Alpha straight in for 18. We'll keep an eye out for traffic. Look at how dirty this water is right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Looking like raw sewage. All the duty water. That's that water coming out of that little thing again. Man, I should have taken a picture of that. If you can circle this one time and I can take a picture real quick. Let's do it next time. Yeah. I mean, it's no surprise there's shit water going Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Not a surprise. Alright, somebody on a downwind we're looking for. Left a downwind somewhere over here. And it might be over the numbers now. How long have we been up? Uh, not long. It's about 35 minutes, 36 minutes. Yeah. Remember, 5385 Delta, just extend your upwind. You're going to be uh, following a Cessna over the river, joining the left downwind, heading to your left about two, three miles. We're looking for a more extended upwind, 85 Delta. Nice homes right here. Yeah, right there on that. Actually, never been down that road that goes down there all the way by the water. That's New York, New York. You've never been there? Yeah. Uh, far out there? No, I've not. Looks like there's a lot of people. Maybe one day go out there. There you go. Uh, helicopter 06 Alpha, about a mile final for 1 8. Uh, clear to land, exit Charlie. Sir, 06 Alpha, affirmative runway 1 8, clear to land, exit Charlie, this right. Okay.
Okay, clear to land 18 exit, Charlie with you, helicopter zero six out. So 58 Lima, power and altitude at 1000, I show you at 1500. <laughs> hey, just descending right now, ma'am, thank you. Delta, you have your interval off your left side. Hey, firm, we'll follow in A5 Delta. A little more left rudder. Feel it, right? There you go. See? Perfect. See how I can feel it? Yep. It's good that you can pick up on that. warmer as you go lower, you know? It is, yeah. Just at 500 feet. Yeah, you know, it could be just a couple of degrees Fahrenheit temperature change, but also, you know, more cooler air versus down all that hot stagnant air down here. Victor's Tower 3758 Lima midfield for runway 18, full stop. For 58 Lima, runway 18, clear land. Clear land, runway 18, 3758 Lima. Tower 85 Delta left that one for uh, full you stop. This thing right where you want it, don't you? Yeah. 85 Delta, Roger, you're going to see a little full stop when we went in here. Delta's not slipping anymore. 18 clear to land. No, I've been doing that since I got the very good belts. That was a bad feeling, wasn't it? Yeah. You got the experience of what will happen with it, you know? Yeah, I know, yeah. Have a great day, Kim. Let us know about Larry. Again? Have a great day. Let us know when we can fly Larry for you. Hey, yeah, you guys let me know. Um, I know he starts school next week, so the weekdays are probably pretty much out, so probably just be on a weekend whenever you're available. Hey, I'm uh, off all day tomorrow, too. Give me a call in the tower. Yeah, will do. Oh, you got the controls? You want to hover a little bit? Yep. Alright. That's it.